What's up everybody, my name is Kala, and in this video I'm going to be going over all of the macros that I use on my Shadow Priest on Classic World of Warcraft Beta. This is a question that I get all of the time, and I don't have any single place where I have all of this information, so this is going to be it. If you have any macro questions after this video, please make sure that you post them, and before I get into it, I just wanted to thank everyone for all of the support on my Twitch channel lately. It's been absolutely monumental, and I couldn't appreciate it anymore, so thank you guys so much. With the, with the Shadow Priest, um, before you get to level 40, obviously you have to have all of your healing capabilities ready to go. Um, so for dungeons, I use mouse over macros. And for anybody who's watching my previous videos, I was learning how to, to build them when I was running RF, um, RFC for the first time. And uh, so that's kind of why I'm here. It's a little tribute to that. But I'll start off at the very top here. I've got my Abolish Disease macro, and it's just a simple mouse over macro so that you don't lose your target while you're doing it. So if you have people in your group, you can just mouse over them, hit the abolish disease button, and then they get abolished and you still maintain your target. Maintaining your target is one of the most important things in, in your macros, so that's why I have it like this. Um, I will have all of these macros listed in the description as well for ease of access. Moving forward, I have a dispel magic macro as well. This one's a little bit different because it allows you to offensively use spells as well. This one doesn't. Um, so you'll notice that uh, there is a there's a harm clause in here. So it allows me to to use this ability offensively as well as defensively. So it works just like my normal mouse over macros. I can just hover over any of my allies in in my uh, raid frames and dispel them. But it also allows me to use it offensively as well without dropping target. And that's the most important thing for me. I could build in my self cast um, modifier in here as well, but I just always make a um, separate dispel magic macro for myself and bind it somewhere else. So this one's just a simple, I, I hit the button and it, uh, and it dispels myself. And that I just like doing it that way. And you'll probably also notice that in all of these macros, I have um, cancel aura blue skeletal horse because if I mount it up in Classic World of Warcraft, you're not able to get off your mount by just hitting a button. Like if I were to hit a normal like Mind Blast, for example, and there was a target, it'll say you are mounted and it won't let you do it. So with all of my abilities that I would use off of my mount, I put in a Cancel Aura Blue Skeletal Horse into the macro so that it cancels the aura, Blue Skeletal Horse, and then I can use the ability. So it's all just kind of built into one. If I'm wanting to shield myself, I can just hit shield like that and it cancels aura right away and I shield myself. It's much quicker than hitting your mount keybind or right clicking off the aura or the other option is just maybe having a separate keybind that's just a macro that's canceling your aura. But that's how I do it. Um, and I'll also, with all of my healing spells, build in a cancel aura shadow form. So that way I don't have to hit multiple buttons. So like for my flash shield, for example, you'll notice it's unavailable, but if I just hit shift F1 to use flash shield, it instantly cancels the shadow form and starts casting. So for those clutch moments where you need to get a heal on somebody um, or maybe like a renew or something like that, it's really, really useful to use this macro because it just instantly drops the shadow form. Again, you can have shadow form bound to something. And like for this example, I have shadow form bound on Zed. I can just hit Zed, then shift F1, but doing it like this just eliminates that extra button press. And I find it a little bit more clean. So with all of the abilities that I would use off of my mount, you know, I don't see myself ever using mind play as the first ability off my mount, but just in case I have it there, cancel aura as well. Um, renew, I have a cancel aura and a cancel shadow form, um, shadow word, yeah, so like basically all of these I have. Oh, I actually don't have it on Shadow Warpaint. I haven't built that one in yet. We'll do that right now. Um, well, except for not the cancel form, of course. Um, and the other thing I wanted to talk about is having uh, modifiers in your spells. So I have a rank one modifier on Shadow Word Pain, on uh, Power Word Fortitude, and on Psychic Scream. So there's basically very few situations while, where I will use full rank Psychic Scream. Almost always I use my alt modifier. So instead of hitting F, I'll hit alt F to use rank one because rank one fears two targets. Rank three fears three targets. So if I'm only ever fearing one target, why would I ever use uh, the highest rank? Because it just simply costs more mana. You're saving 40 mana that way. I use the alt modifier on my Shadow Word Pain as well like this so that if I just need to keep a rogue out of stealth i'll tag them with the rank one pain if i'm running low on mana or if i'm just in a big pvp battle and i notice one of their priests or paladins dropping down to drink i'll um 
I'll make sure that I hit them with a rank 1 pain too to keep them in combat. And um, yeah, that's basically what I use for rank 1. Sometimes I'll use rank 1 fortitude when running with a flag carrier in Warsong Gulch just to just to force out globals from the opponent because I can't heal while I'm running. So if I drop all my heals, last global, maybe I'll just use the rank 1 fort just to cover my buffs a little bit uh, and cover any buffs that the druid might be getting as a flag carrier. Um, the only other macro that I would bring up, like all of these are the same, it's cancel aura, cancel aura, and then just a general mouse over. So I do that with all of my heals, uh, my renew, my shield, etc. Um, the only other one that I have is this one here. It's the, the Mind Flay macro, and this is just a, a cast no channeling Mind Flay, very simple. It means that you can't basically overlap your Mind Flay. So if I'm Mind Flaying somebody, I can sit there hitting my Mind Flay keybind over and over and over, and it's only going to cast again once it's able to cast again, once it's not channeling. So it uh, it makes it so that you don't accidentally screw up your Mind Flay, and it's a, it's a really efficient way of using the ability. So I yeah, I like doing that. So far, this is all of these are all of the macros that I have. Um, I will be building more as time goes by, uh, just for the new abilities that I get um, and the new things that I can think of. But right now on Classic Beta, these are all of the macros that I'm using. And I hope that the video was helpful for you guys. If you have any other questions about macros or any guides that you want to see in the future, please let me know in the description. And uh, we're almost at 10,000 10, subs on YouTube, and that's really exciting. So if you like the content, hit the sub button. And uh, if not, I'll see you guys over on the Twitch channel. So thank you very much. See ya. Thank you.